Well, uh, back to the NBA, and we have some we got some we got a Zion Williamson some news here. According to the Athletic, Zion Williamson will not play this season, and uh, well, he, and I guess he he won't play at all because he hasn't played yet. So. So number one, number one overall pick from what three years ago now has played eighty-five career games in three seasons, and that's that's about it. When he's on, when he's been on the floor, it's been impressive, it's been exciting, but just haven't seen enough of it. And meanwhile, uh, second overall pick in that draft, John Morant, doing his thing. Grizzlies number three seed in the East, or maybe number two. They're somewhere up there. They've it's been a fantastic year for them. Drink. Uh, what are we to make of Zion Williamson after this news that we won't see him at all this season? Um, so I, let me start with this narrative that I hear a lot. Um, I hear this narrative a lot that, yo, well, the reason Zion isn't like playing is because, you know, he in a small market and they don't like the way he's marketed in New Orleans. And then I'm looking like, hey, man, John Morant must went to the Knicks or the Lakers or the or the, uh, the Warriors. Yeah, he must went to one of those. And now look, he went to the Memphis Grizzlies. So we crying about the market where, you know, you know how the NBA works. The sorriest teams get the best players of the draft. And let's just say, uh, you know, a lot of small markets at the top of the draft. I think that's the biggest cop out I ever hear is it's the small market. He ain't get enough shine. You make your shine. You make it. Look what John Morant doing. But you know what? Let me let me let me stay focused on the question at hand. This season. What is going on this season? And I don't, Jay, I'm starting to wonder how how fascinated. Zion Williamson is into playing basketball right now. I'm starting to think something else. Like, I hear this injury thing. Zion, 20, 21? He usually don't take a, a, young, a young man that age that long to bounce back from an injury. Not a, Definitely not a full year. Not a full year. I'm sorry. I'm just starting to feel, like, I don't know if it's the people around him that's advising him, or whatnot, I'm just starting to feel that his mind is somewhere other than basketball. And he's not all the way sold in on, on being an NBA player right now. Damn sure not sold in on being an NBA player in New Orleans. The problem is, if you trade him, get he's probably going to go to another small market. Like, I don't, you ain't. He ain't going to the Lakers. Like, what? Are the, what? Let you? What? Would you think you're gonna get Anthony Davis back? Like, he's not going to the Lakers. You know, he's not going to. to he's not going to the Knicks. They got enough young players. Matter of fact, they got the player that went behind Zion. The start, the second guy behind Zion, behind John ja, ja Morant, and he seems to be panning out pretty well for the Knicks. So you're not going there either. You're not going to Brooklyn. For obvious reasons. I'm just trying to figure this out. Like, where, where the hell you want to go? Minnesota? Oh, yeah, that's a big, that's a big mark. Minnesota. We, we'll give you um, D'Angelo Russell and um, uh, what's the dude? Um, we'll give you Anthony Edwards sign Nikes because you ain't going to get him. We'll just give you a souvenir. Like, I'm trying to figure out, yeah. like, what, what are we doing? Like, is that... He's supposed to be the next best thing since sliced bread. He's the next best thing since COVID came out because he ain't hitting on nothing right now. I'm sorry to say. And he's probably one season away, one, one season away from us questioning how close he is to being a bust if he pulled this again next season. I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. And I know, I know how you feel about that, Jay. It's like, you're going to be like, hey, man, it's a little too early to be doing all that, but Listen, he's a little too young to be doing all that. He's just a little too young. What are we doing here? LeBron in year 19, he ain't missed the whole season. The whole season, man, you couldn't play one game. You couldn't get Brandon Ingram one game. Now, I know he missed time too, but it wasn't the whole season. 
You couldn't even give CJ McCullough a phone call. Hey, man, welcome to New Orleans. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to need you, baby. Jay, let, let, me, let, me, let me hit you with something. Zion, you know how many playoff appearances Zion got? Zero. <clears throat> you know how many playoff appearances John Morant got? One. Oh, you know what? Zion played in the Western Conference. <laughs> Way tough over there. Way tough. I forgot about that. I guess I got it. Oh, don't John Morant play in the Western Conference too? Well, I guess they go that that excuse. Oh. Guess what? Hey, Jake, one more question for you. How many playoff appearances do R.J. Barrett have? The guy that went number three overall. One. Oh, shoot. Well, they only been in the league three years. Drink. Like, what are we talking about? Like, they only been in the league three years. I mean, how many playoff appearances do you want them to have? That's my point exactly. I don't have a problem with John Morant. John Morant going to have two because he's making the playoffs this year. R.J. Barrett, they got a chance. We'll see. John, Memphis is definitely making the playoffs. There's no if, ands, buts about it. And Zion has yet to smell the postseason. The closest he, the closest he got to the postseason was the bubble that they rigged for him to get into the postseason, and he still didn't get into the postseason. Look, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, man, it's starting to upset me a little bit. John Morant show out here looking like lip service. He show out here, girl, you look so good, girl. After like six shots of Hennessy, girl, hey, hey, girl, <laughs> you looking like a dime. That's what I'm getting out of John Morant. I mean, that's what I'm getting out of Zion Williams. A lot of lip service. People telling me he's super good. He look fine. He good to go. And he didn't play at all this season. And he's been out here looking puffy. Since he's been in the league. Oh, he's like, hey, hey, don't worry about his knees. You don't know what his knees going through. You he's he's been playing this this long looking like this. So don't you worry about him losing weight. Oh. Hmm. So are we out here pulling the Ben Simmons or what, 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 what are we doing? What are we doing here? What are we doing? So look, to be real with you, Jay, I'm I'm telling you, if if Zion don't come back next season and be something worth talking about. If he can't come back and at least be in the conversation with John Morant next year, I'm sorry, man. He's going to be looking like a bust to me. Over to you, man. Yeah, this is um, this is just, this is just odd. This is an odd, just an odd story because it felt like, um, you know, you go back and read some of the, the updates on him. You had, um, I think in November he was, was cleared for – basketball activities and then he had a setback in December and it's it's okay now now he's ready he's gonna go back to basketball activities and oh well now I've got something else I mean we gotta wait some more and it's still like now we're to the what less than a month in the regular season it's like ah never mind he's no no playing and like so I just I don't know what what quite to make of it it's everything see everything's I'm not, I, I can't really speak to – I don't have any information on the, the the small market angle or that. how much does he want to play or I, I don't I don't want to go there. I, I just – I'll take it at face value and just say, like, the dude just can't get healthy this season. And then that, what that leads me to – what that leads me to think is, could it be that this guy is such a – his body type is something that, like, we, we've never seen an athletic specimen like this. I mean, this is, to me, I think Zion is more of a freakish athlete than LeBron James. That's what I think. The mm. problem is, can, can his lower half, can his knees, can his feet support this ridiculous, ridiculous body? I, I think that's the biggest question I have. And is that why we just... I mean, it go. You think about it. It goes back all the way to his season at Duke, when he blew a tire. We never seen that before. Like it's like, oh man, the shoe company. This is BS. Like, what the? I mean, how? 
it's Zion Williamson. Like we've, we've never seen a guy with this body type. This is, I mean, I don't know what you do. That's the, that's where I'm at. I do, I do hear you. And I do think like in, and I think the, the bus thing is, is relative and it's, it's health related because when he's played, he's been, he's been a force. It hasn't turned into winning a playoff team. or anything like that. I, I got you. I understand. And I, and I agree. But he's also only played in 85 games. But when he has played, and when you look at his, his first season to his second season, he did improve. I, I just I, – I am concerned, and we, that, that's been kind of a debate we've – I mean, we've had. I think the league has had, like, can his – can he play his style of, of ball at this size? Because we've obviously seen guys that are really big have a lot of success. But – Think about a guy like Shaq. Shaq wasn't like jumping out the gym. You know what I'm saying? He was just a little bit taller and just, he could just, you know, get up there a little bit and like, okay, I'm dunking on, I'm dunking on. Zion is a Skywalker. Zion come out, Zion, if he wanted to, Zion wins the dunk contest. I mean, I just got to believe that. If Zion wins, oh, hey, hey. we're not having these. Listen, after what we just seen in his last dunk contest, I'm with you. He ain't got to do nothing but do Hold one on. smooth dunk from the free throw line. Over with. Game over. You know what I'm talking. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. The other part of it. The other part of it is that makes this disappointing is the hype that came around with Zion. When Zion was at Duke, ESPN Zion Williamson owned about fifty percent of the airtime on ESPN. I don't think I don't think a basketball player was as hyped up as Zion Williamson since, since LeBron James. So that's, there's a lot of fair. I think there's a lot of external I think there's a lot of external factors and noise that go into this that in some ways it's it's I think it's somewhat unfair even though that's what comes with when you come with all this hype and we're not we're just not getting anything you have to have this discussion especially when the guy that was drafted after you is having a whole lot of success and looking like looking like a superstar in the making. And then even so, you go down the line now, and you're thinking like, man, I mean, at least R.J. Barrett's playing, and we've seen, we've seen signs that R.J. Barrett can really play in this league. So, I, you know, I, more than anything, I'm, I think it, it's disappointing because when we've seen Zion play in just only 85 games, but he, he obviously can play, and he belongs – and I, I saw improvement year one to year two. This is a lost season. I, I hope, I hope we can, he can get his. Uh, I hope his health improves. And I don't know. Maybe it. Maybe he does need to slim down a little bit. Maybe that's part of it. He's got to. He has to do something different with his body to be more durable. Maybe that's something they got to take a look at. I don't know, man. But I'm gonna tell you, if you're new, if it's new, if you're New Orleans, do you remember the? Absolute jubilation on lottery night. Lottery night, won yeah. The lotto and they, they, the front office was in there just like, I don't know, man. They out there, you know, they out there damn near crying, you know, but it's just overjoyed, like, oh, we got die. And they're like, what are they, what they in there doing now? Like, well, this is just in a in a 365-day waiting room, you know, like <laughs> I, I, I really I really wonder, like, what they've got to be thinking. I don't think – I mean, at this point, I, I can't even, like, open up trade discussions because I don't even know what his value would be. And, like, I don't know who would want him because you just – we haven't really seen anything. You're getting – similar. it's almost a little bit like Joel Embiid, what he dealt with his first couple of years. I, I don't know. It's may, Maybe – I don't know, man. Maybe they need to be on the phone with Philadelphia and try to figure out, like, how did y'all get Joel Embiid help? You know, because the not, process not nowhere near the process, <laughs> nowhere near the same body type. But <laughs> Embiid obviously had a lot of injuries that really hampered him early in his career. I, I, you know, all I can say is I hope Zion gets it. I hope he's able, his body is able to be more friendly to him next season. And we see him on the floor so we can actually evaluate him properly because we can't, I, I can't do a proper evaluation when I'm not seeing anything. It's just, it's frustrating and it's disappointing because we have nothing and we have the dude pick right after him just playing outstanding in John Moran. 